Hi everyone. I would like to first uh, thank everyone for participating in the open public forum and it's thanks to all your participation that I'm actually doing this video to show the circuit with all the improvement ideas uh, that everyone has put in. So thank you very much for uh, continuing to put your input and hopefully this will continue and we'll keep developing this water power uh, circuit. Um, if you're new at watching this video and you would like to participate in this open public forum, you can find in the description box next to this video the link to go to this particular topic where we are sharing this information. Um, I'll basically talk about the improvements here quickly. Uh, I still have a bridge rectifier here but the bridge is fairly small, doesn't need to be big at all. Um, I've got 160 microfarad capacitor here and I've got a automotive 12 volt relay and 10 diodes in series to block the high voltage from going into this section here when the capacitor is being discharged. Uh, it's a very, very basic circuit. Uh, please go to the link to get the schematic on this most update circuit. And I will show that this circuit is capable of actually exploding water. And uh, originally I was showing this circuit with an inverter uh, that would take the 12 volts and change it to 120 uh, AC. And well, what I decided to do is forget about using an inverter. Uh, this bridge rectifier right now, I'm going to plug this in right into the AC grid of the home here. So it's 120 volts AC 60 hertz gonna, that's going to be going in this bridge. And that's it. Uh, the automotive relay is being triggered by 12 volts to click back and forth. And uh, I went a little fancier and attached a uh, transistor that's uh, switched uh, on and off by my uh, pulse generator. So I don't need to do any of the switching and I can actually increase the frequency of the switching. Um, but you don't even need this relay and definitely not the transistor either to do the switching. You can do it manually just with a single pole. Uh, double throw switch so just back and forth and what you're doing is switching to charge the capacitor from the bridge disconnect the capacitor from the bridge and connect it to the circuit and that's it so the bridge is not connected to the circuit at all it's being broken at this relay here and um, the circuit operates very well just off of 160 microfarads and I'll demonstrate that for you now and what I'll do is I'll zoom in the camera so that you can look at the spark and I'll plug in the 110 AC, 120 AC right now that's plugged in and now I'll zoom in to the spark plug here so you get a good good view of the kind of spark that's happening there. Okay, I'll start the signal generator and you'll see the spark uh, dry at this time and then I'll uh, use this little bottle here where I'll just squirt a little bit of water on it and you'll see the water exploding right away. It's obvious. So here goes. So that's the spark basically happening without any water. Uh, it could be a bit intensified with just the moisture of the room. Um, but it's a more intensive spark than normal. And now I'll add water and you'll see an extremely large difference. 
The camera is not quite capable of picking it up, but the uh, spark has an orange glow all around it. So you see now it's burnt all that water. And I'll add more. So you can hear the difference in the spark as soon as I add the water. It's much more intensive. And like I say, there's an orange glow happening around the spark. I'll add more water. And I can actually increase the frequency here. 